onto beers and responsible drinking. <laughs> if you're like in the corner, like <laughs> like puking on yourself or whatever, you just get get the booted out and I'll put you on the tram tracks outside. Welcome to Preferred Enemy Demagogue. Just, just seriously look both ways before you cross the tracks because, um, yeah, they're, they're super fucking quiet. And as the sign says when you board the tram, they, it's like being hit by um, 30 rhinos on a skateboard or something like that. So yeah, they're fucking heavy. For everybody that was here last year, they know about the like live map and stuff we had going versus uh, with loyalists versus traders. We're doing something different this year, so we're not going to have the live map. Everyone's going to be playing through the same narrative of this story throughout the whole weekend. At the start of each round, I'm going to play a little um, multimedia video that'll um, give you a little bit of a insight into what's happening with the character and the planet and, and all that sort of stuff. Conduct the ritual, sacrifice all those on Uvanda and release the planet to become the gateway for the primordial annihilator. Nearly all of you are going to have a first turn charge in this before we set up anyway, so just keep that in mind, yeah? The trader objective is to escape. Before the game begins, the trader players must place the demagogue within eight inches of the center of the wall. The loyalist objective is to kill the escorting models, so the loyalists must not let the demagogue escape. The loyalist player scores two victory points for each traitor scoring unit destroyed, and adds an additional two victory points if the demagogue has not made it into one of their deployment zones. Seven major prizes. Added a whole bunch of minor prizes as well, so I'm just going to jump straight into the minor prizes. There is a minor prize for the best demagogue. I did see some um, very creative conversion work and people diving into the narrative. However, there was one demagogue model who stood out the most. You win this award and a friendly games workshop butt plug. Next is best character model. This was hotly contested. Dave's character and honorable mention for Kieran Soltavit, but the award goes to the Praetor of Edmund. Good job. Thanks.
Next one is the best super heavy. Honorable mentions go to Pat Golden Orion Dropship and Mitch Finn for his sexy purple glaive. But the one that stood out above the rest was Felblight by Dom Come Up and the Bride. Appropriately named the Dominator. That takes us to best vehicle. Honorable mentions again go to Kieran for his Venator. Dom for his well in Scorpius. And the award goes to the Cronus Grab Carrier of Pat. Well done, Pat. <laughs> best unit. This one was seriously hotly contested and it was splitting hairs in the end. Honorable mentions go to Kieran for his awesome assault marines and Matt Greek for his ogrens. But the award goes to the brutal Terminators of the First Legion by Mike. <laughs> This is Best Dreadnought or Walker, another super hotly contested one. We threw in all the sort of um, mechanic and stuff into that as well. So the honorable mentions for that area go to Dave Carpenter and honorable mention to Kat for their mechanic and efforts. However, the best Dreadnought was the Contempt of Mortis of Kieran. <laughs> Same as every year, we've got a social media <laughs> spam award. Um, there's a few characters who constantly post year after year with terrific content. Um, honorable mentions go to Mike and Kieran. However, the award this year goes to Danny Whitehead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On to the major awards. Best general for traitors and loyalists. On 63 total VPs, the best traitor general was James. I hope that feels salty. No, no, it's all right. Close to you. <laughs> Closely, closely, closely followed by the best loyalist general on 62 victory points, the Alpha Legion of J. <laughs> best sports award, this was your favorite player as voted by your opponents. Honorable mentions go to Josh and Clinton for being awesome opponents, but the one that stood out above the rest was Tim <laughs> Onto the prestigious hobby prizes. Our hobby prizes are sponsored by the following awesome people. Stosh at Whiskey Week Painting has generously donated some awesome painting sets, including uh, some AK packs, a Pro a Monument Hobbies Pro Acryl um, Metallic set, which is uh, only available in the UK, so you got it on special order, as well as Aptilon, um oils and the super expensive rust effect. Also sponsoring these prizes a Cult of Paint. Each person will get one free month Cult of Paint Patreon and the person who walks away with the EO's Choice Major Prize gets two free months of Cult of Paint Patreon. And you get um, some Games Workshop butt plugs in there as well as <laughs> four draw vouchers too so stick around and I'll email those vouchers straight to you also. So pretty good fucking prizes all up. On to the favourite Traitor. Honorable mentions go to Macca's Demons and Dom Fabry's World Eaters. However, one traitor army stood out amongst the rest, and that was the amazingly painted Mechanicum by Michael. <laughs> On to the favorite loyalist, a hotly contested one here. Honorable mentions going to the following people. Kieran Patrick and Clinton for his Ultramarines. But another Mechanicum army has picked up the prize. Ryan, great job. So yeah, round one, the two players' choice winners actually had a game against each other, randomly drawn. Oh yeah, go on then. Just don't fucking drag it out. Seven hours later. On to the EO's choice. Uh, for those that were here last year, know that the EO's choice are armies that we pick, that we think reflects not only the setting, terrific paint job, conscientious effort to improve, as well as injecting narrative and putting your own touch on something to make it special. EO's choice runner-up had some models last year that uh, he wanted some feedback on gave some feedback and he's really gone and consciously applied techniques and thought about it and he's produced a terrific looking army that's cohesive and sets itself apart. That is the terrific Xana army of Cap. You've shown really great improvement Cap, so more credit to you bud. 
The EO's Choice Award uh, goes to a very special army, um, probably because of the level of effort, detail, and conscientious approach to really make it his own. And it's quite undeniable that this award has to go to Nick Bradjob. <laughs> And that concludes everything. So, look, if you want to put PE in the calendar next year, I'm going to speak to Dave right now and book out some time. But Queen's birthday again, as is tradition. So, um, yeah, middle of June next year. You can earmark that. And it will be 2.0, obviously, but a different points format, most likely. Might be something more around the 1750 mark. Hope you all enjoyed yourself. Any, any other questions? Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Adam. You're welcome, guys. Thanks for, thanks for sending off the... Uh, First edition style. On 648 points, the traders. And on 669 points, the loyalists. The fuckers won again. That is bullshit. Unstoppable. Can I just say, can I just say at the beginning of the day, the traders are about 90 victory points ahead or something ridiculous. So you've only got yourselves to blame, traders. Good job, guys. And um, yeah, appreciate everyone coming from interstate. Get home safe and all that, and yeah, have a good night. See you next time. Talking to this little phone, d d little device, and you edit. I'm saying hello to Cat as he's editing this. How you, go how you going, buddy? Hope you're having a beautiful day. Have another coffee.